welcome back to my channel my name is Liz Chanel if you're new here please comment like and subscribe to the channel today we're doing a czar haul before we start this haul though I'm gonna need y'all to subscribe because I've been seeing you guys watching but you guys are not subscribing so we'll wait okay I'm joking <laughs> but yes please subscribe to my channel we do all things fashion and New York City content I will be getting into my top five essentials that I think you need in your closet. I'm so excited to get into these pieces because this is my first New York City fall and you know the real fashion girls, you know this is our time to shine. So I'm excited to finally experience a New York City fall and really get my pieces on and it's October here and it's amazing so I'm soaking it up and living. And let's get into the top five essentials that you need in your closet for this fall from Zara. Okay. The first item, first item is these cargo pants. Cargos are essential. If you don't have cargos in your collection right now for fall, stock up. So I got these gray cargos. I feel like cargos are very essential right now in the fall um, trends right now. So I got this in a medium. It's like a parachute type of pants. You could pull the strings at the top and also pull it at the bottom. I love that I could wear it flared, but also I could wear it, um, you know, like I could wear them like scrunched up. So I really love these pants. I got them in a medium and they were $49.90. So I really love that they got the pockets at the back. It's really just giving that, you know, that baggy boyfriend type of cargo. They do have like a wide variety of so many different cargos and that I've been noticing. But this one kind of stuck out to me because it was a little bit different. I did like the ones with the pockets on the side that they have going, but I really do love these. These are really dope. So I'm excited to, you know, get my fits off with these. I feel like I would pair them with basics um, or just pair it with some nice Jordans or, yeah, I feel like they're just cool with Jordans or whatever. Or want to have an elevated look, I would ideally wear them with like, a pump and that would look so dope so i'm excited to really you know get into my tomboy feel you know i feel like loose pants are kind of like the trend right now i feel like skinny jeans are out <laughs> okay so for the next essential you need basics classic clean cut basics like just like this top i'm wearing so the next item is this long sleeve um you know just like a long sleeve basic uh, mock neck type of shirt it does have a little bit of a mesh on it but when initially when i seen it it was giving like skims vibes so i feel like you know imitation skims is the essentials right now i feel like um a lot of companies are noticing that the girls just want like basics to match like with the cargos and i'm loving gray right now i think gray is literally my color for the fall instead of black because black would be harsh but i love the gray because you could wear so many different iterations of it so this one i got in a small and um it was 17.99 because it was like a special price originally it was like 35 but you know when zara has that special collection side so yeah i got this in a uh, small so it just fits tight and holds up my boobs and you know it's just not like a hassle i really love these because it really just feels like skims and it looks so cool paired with the cargos and i also just um i love their little basics this is another item i got this um t-shirt tank they're like 10 bucks but i'm telling you this is the best ten dollars you are ever gonna spend like I have them in black, I have it in white. Something about this material, get it in a small or an extra small so it just holds up everything and it kind of feels like skims. I love these because I don't have to really wear a bra. It's so seamless and it's a cheaper version to skims. So um, when you can't afford skims, just get these ones. They're 10, they're 10 bucks and they have like such a good, you know, same type of stretch. I love, love, love these. And I love that I'm wearing them with like the cargos and stuff. It just really gives off that Balenciaga kind of feel. Something about that gray. I just been in that gray mood. I'm, I'm like obsessed with these two. So get you some basics for the fall, some classic long sleeve mock necks, and it will definitely elevate your style for uh, fall. The next item is cargo skirt. Like this skirt is literally giving life like she has a slit down the front 
she got two pockets on the side and then she also has that scrunched up you know at the at the bottom and also like this little ring at the back for detail and it has pockets like it's just so cute and it's leather i was like yo this is so dope like i love this skirt i truly think that the long skirts with the slit in the middle is definitely the trend like that's the it trend right now i do see a lot of girls wearing the parachute skirt and it's like a different material it's not leather it's a little bit of a cargo cotton material i love those too but initially when i seen this i was like this is a little bit this is a little bit different i got this in a medium it is 49 dollars. love it so bomb badass like i just feel like elevate this in such a nice way i personally never wear long skirts so this is like something a little bit far off for me i'm gonna see how i could incorporate it with my wardrobe but right now i like this elevated look with just like a plain you know dressed up top and like these lv boots i honestly you know i need to start getting into the real pieces like i said i'm in new york so the girls here they don't play i can't be on no calm girl stuff so i thought this was like gonna really elevate my style so i got it and i was like yeah okay i can't wait to pull this out and like give a really good ball girl look so yeah definitely the cargo skirts are what's trending but the next trend is one of my favorites and it's always going to be a trend for me the canadian tuxedo denim on denim because of course i'm canadian so we originated this i got this denim two-piece uh and it's like a corset matching situation like it's giving y2k baddie it's giving very much video vixen early 2000s the look i have for this it's just really giving like a naomi campbell type of vibe like supermodel um i got it in a size medium both top and bottom i'm a little bit struggling to put this on by myself i'm gonna need a hand with my friends when i'm ready to like actually head out but this with a high boot is gonna eat this with like some you know vintage sunglasses i just feel like it's really gonna eat skirt is 39 and the top is 39 so top and bottom is the same price it is super cute like don't play with me when i wear this when i pull this out i kind of want to wear it folded over gonna eat like when i'm ready to pull this out y'all just wait on it like i'm so excited it's gonna eat. denim on denim is gonna eat every single time um like i said you could there's so many iterations of denim on denim like jeans i've been seeing a lot of people wearing them with high boots so i feel like denim on denim is definitely the staple trend but that's just my personal opinion because you know canadian tuxedo just works every time so we are gonna get into and the next essential is metallics i know it's something a little different this season but metallics have been trending so we got this cute bag i'm pretty sure you guys seen it all over tiktok it is so pretty it is like a classic shoulder bag um it's giving very much like the prada dupe uh, i love it because it's like so shiny oh man i'm just realizing it's a little scratched up um but yes this bag is giving she's so cute it was 39.90 i typically don't really try and buy a lot of zara bags but i feel like she's worth it it's popular it's trendy it has like this nice thick sh shoulder strap so it's cool it stands out metallics metallics is that girl this season like i i'm really fucking really like liking this so i think metallics are the it girl this season and speaking of metallics metallics i have going on right now like let's just let me just pull out this metallic boot for y'all guys as you might have seen this on my tiktok i don't know but if you're not following me on tiktok get into it because that's where i'd be dropping the stuff that i get the latest but this boot she is so pretty like she is so bomb she's giving very much i want it all like she is giving don't play with me this she's giving very much fashion girl initially when i seen this i was like zara's coming out with these type of pieces oh word say less 
they came out with this in a silver one as well that's how you know the metallics are really on trend but the silver something about the crocodile thing i don't know like the print wasn't eating i feel like the real fashion girls know that this one was the color to get because i was just indecisive too but a lot of people were like nah get the green the green is a standout it's a walkout boot like this i got some matching sunglasses to go with it really giving like y2k baddie but also like i don't know i don't have i have like one specific outfit i'm gonna wear with this with some shorts some denim on denim and the sunglasses but i don't like guys i don't know how i'm gonna like wear it ever again so give me some tips but you know i feel like this is a very fun boot it shouldn't be like seen all the time um i do kind of wish the quality was a little better because when i got it in the mail it looks like it started to like chip so i'm kind of not chip but like strip away so it was attached together for too long unfortunately but i am obsessed with this boot this is my favorite zara purchase ever in life comfortable the boot at the back is not like a skinny heel so like i'm already like living life i could wear these all night i'm trying to wear them tonight so wait on those photos um yes so i'm so excited to pull these boots out they were initially 129 and i got them in a 40 which is a usa 9 i'm usually always a 40 in zara making my feet sound mad big but yes i'm a 40 in zara and i'm so excited i don't know if i should get the silver like you guys comment down below which one is like your favorite but for now these have my heart <laughs> and last but not least the main thing that you need in your closet is good coats so you need a moto coat a puffer coat or a shirling my choice this fall was to go with a shirling coat and i had this in my last zara haul but something about this version is a little bit better like this year's version they snap let me show you so we have this beauty here she is giving very much luxe very much everything that i want in a coat like she is stunning it looks even better on i got this in a small surprisingly and it still has so much arm room because i'm tall i'm five seven and it still has so much arm room i really don't like my jackets to be really huge but this i'm getting like oversized but cute like it just fits perfectly i love a good crop jacket when i seen it automatically i was like this is different she different you don't got the zips like everywhere else like i feel like a lot of them they have zips all over this is just like one simple zip and then the pockets feel like super warm super cozy and cute i feel like i could still you know get a good wear out of, wear out of this in the winter time as well so i'm so excited to really like you know get my fall pieces this is like a the it girl this is the statement jacket. This is the statement jacket. I love that I could roll it up and roll it down too. It's so cozy and cute. Like you need a Sherling jacket in your closet. If you don't have a Sherling right now, you are missing out and you need to hop on it. So 129 is not bad for this. And I would say the quality of Zara coats really do tend to last. I have to go replace my Zara black puffer because that got stolen so you'll probably see that in the winter haul and this is one of my favorite purchases so that that was it for my zara haul thank you guys so much for watching stay tuned and comment down below what other videos you want to see from me thank you guys so much for watching